everyone, I'm Tim, this is Sandy, and normally we're having adventures in our 2004 Mercedes Sprinter van. But we're in New Zealand's beautiful South Island at the moment, and this week we finally get back on the road for more van life adventures. Welcome to our channel. Good morning everyone. So we're just going to play a little bit of catch up this morning because we didn't film yesterday or the last couple of days because we had a couple of things going on um so i'll just fill you in we checked out of our nice five star hotel had our last showers and our last breakfast we took the car and take took that back to the rental place and then we picked up this little beauty oh look at it it's tiny <laughs> This is a 1991 Ford Trader camper van. It's a little bit rough and ready. We will do a tour on this a little bit later on. Um, we're just trying to figure things out at the moment, but so <laughs> it's a little bit topsy turvy in here. So after Queenstown, we left Queenstown. We stopped um, off at Puzzling World. Um, it was a bit expensive, but I thought because of the price, maybe it might be worth it. Look. But the maze was all right. Um, <laughs> interesting place. Um, had lots of holograms and different types of illusion rooms inside there. Um, we played around a little bit, spent an hour and a half trying to get out of that maze. And then we drove to Wanaka. Now in Wanaka, you can't actually park uh, right next to the water there or anywhere in the town. It's um, no freedom camping around that area. So we actually drove a little bit further up the way to Glendu Bay, where we are now situated at Glendu Bay. I think it's a caravan park or a tourist park. But look at these absolutely wonderful views. You couldn't actually beat this and it's only going to get better from here, guys. <laughs> Always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, your diamond in the rug. So this morning we are heading off to a walk. It's a two to three hour walk up, and I can't remember. I think it's Mount Aspiring. We're going to and hopefully we'll get some cracking views up there as well so let's take you on for the ride So we just parked up Wee Wurzel and we're about to go on our first 10k hike up the Rob Roy Glacier Roy Track. Glacier. So uh, we'll see how that goes. So in the first 500 meters, we're already welcomed with magnificent views, beautiful rivers. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, the water is crystal clear, but I imagine it's very, very cold, even though it is quite inviting. <laughs> I think it's an hour and a half there and an hour and a half back. Probably is. <laughs> I got excited then. I thought, oh, we don't have to go far. We've done it an hour and a half. No. <laughs> this bridge does not feel stable at all. I'm not allowed any more than 10 people on it. And uh, you wouldn't want to be scared of heights. So 
thing about this magical fairy glen. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty though. After you haven't hiked for a while, like me, you find these little walks a little struggling. <laughs> but there are benches and stuff we can sit out and look at this magnificent view. It's amazing that the waters are so clear and it's nice seeing the snow in the background. Oh god. Are you yawning? No. A bit worrying to see these avalanche warnings everywhere as well, but I don't think we're in the right seasons for that. Eh? We don't have heavy snow, so we're all good. So I think uh, most of you know that I fell over just before our wedding. Yes, we got married. Um, <laughs> and I had a big gash on my head, and it was because I tripped on my shoelaces. The hook on the boot hooked around the Anyway, I fell flat on my face. Um, it's healed, thankfully. But I'm now paranoid. I'm wearing the same shoes, and now I'm, now I'm paranoid that they're going to hook around again and I'm going to fall flat on my face. So, because of that, I keep looking down at my feet and not ahead at the nice views. <laughs> it's only when Tim stops to uh, take a picture that I stop. And the trail gets steeper and steeper. <laughs> it has been a while since we hiked up something so steep for a while, so yeah. We're taking it easy today. Just watching him do that hurt me. <laughs> well, we're almost four kilometers in. It's been steep going, hopefully it's not going to uh, be much steeper, but I'm sure it will be. Be concerned about the last 500 metres, because they give you 30 minutes to do that. And he goes, how does it take 30 minutes to do 500 metres? I'm going to bet it's short, it's straight up. Really missing my sticks today. As you know, we have hiking poles. <sighs> but, of course, we didn't bring them over to NZ because we're a little overweight because of all the wedding items. <laughs> And we didn't think of it, you know. You oh no, they were out. Biggest country in the world for hiking, but you know. They were out on the bed, ready to go. Oh, Did we pack them? It? No! You can see she's loving life. I, like, I just want to get to the top, I don't like the actual coming. Yeah. She only likes the top bit of hiking and the returning at the end of hiking, but not the actual in between stuff. What's another half an hour? I am hungry, but let's keep Food tastes good when we get there. <laughs> Somehow she managed to hurt herself on this tree here. <laughs> She says it's lower than we think it is. Let's have a look. Nope. She's terrible. We just popped out from behind the trees. Wow, look at that. Look at that. How amazing is that? Did you expect to see I didn't that? Even, didn't I didn't even see it until Tim went, look up. <laughs> that looks awesome. That is amazing. You, that's, that is just a, that's all solid ice up there, isn't it? You can see why it's an avalanche area. Wow. That make a good picture of you looking up. Well, I'd say that was worth a hike. You have a waterfall over here. Waterfall over there, and a glacier over there. We've still got a little way to go, How awesome not is that? far. We're not up the top yet, not far. almost. Almost. Four kilometers in, at the top of a mountain, we have a toilet. Bizarre. It's something you don't see every day. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, it looked a bit dodgy, but we're not disappointed. Wow. 
We just kept persevering and that extra 30 minutes made all the difference. We made it. We made it. We made it to the, Look the top the of the Look at the view we've got up there. It's amazing. Tilt it back. There you go. <laughs> Much better, eh? So nice. It says it's an avalanche area. There was a teeny tiny one and it sounded like, wow. Thunderstorm, yeah, it thunderstorm, did. It sounded like it? thunder. It mm. sounded like thunder. Mm. And it, was, it was way up there and it was just this tiny little sprinkle of ice and snow. That's so cool. <sighs> but we're going to go and have lunch now. What a better place. <laughs> it's I think absolutely beautiful. Of, oh, and the view that way is spectacular as well. We keep focusing on the glacier behind us, but that is beautiful. And the waterfall beautiful. in front of us, it's so nice. It's lovely. <laughs> gonna um, hike back down now it's so cold here I'd say it's probably about two degrees and Tim hasn't brought a jacket because who knew um, who knew there was ice <laughs> so we're heading back down there we'll see you well you may we may film some on the way down but if not we'll see you down there so you get under three of hurting yourself or something there you go our ride for New Zealand I'd never been so happy to get back to a camper van in my life what a long trip in total that was 13 K and four and a half hours later our legs are killing us <laughs> so I just can't wait to get inside and sit down home presidential finally suite is, we have returned to the presidential suite there you go. <sighs> oh can you put up the step Thank you. How did you enjoy that walk today? It was actually, it was a bit big for the first walk, 13 kilometres, but we did it in four and a half hours, so it wasn't too bad. That's a long walk though, it was oh, so steep. Well worth it, those views. It was, yeah. Stunning. Well, this is my current state, I'm lying in the back. So we've decided to actually head back to Wanaka because if we stay here, we can't do anything because there's no internet. It's free, but... Um, yeah, we can stay here, it's free, but I think we need a good hot shower from the campsite we were at, which is really cheap. It's only $20 per person, I think, wasn't it? Uh, $20 per person for the campsite. Yeah, yeah. so... dollar for the showers. Yeah, so I think we might just go back there because we have to go back there anyway because we can't actually move on from here. We've got to go back the way we came. It's the end of the road. <laughs> so we'll see you back at the campsite. So Tim and I have just come back from a shower and what a day. It was definitely worth the hike up there, but we are absolutely exhausted. So we are going to get some dinner on and do a bit of editing and we'll catch you tomorrow morning. Bye bye. Good morning, you look really cosy. I am not cosy. Well, it looks cosy. Look at this for a morning view. Don't need to tell you in this van. Comes with its own full HD view. So we've discovered that this van is very cold at all <laughs> times. It has a diesel heater, but because of the... Um... It was built in the 90s, so it has the thermal insulation of the 90s. So we're trying to warm up. The needle heater is on, as you can probably hear. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Um, but we're also going to go to um, the little town of Wanaka this morning. We're going to buy some things that we need, like pegs to keep the window, the blind shut, and a mirror. There's no mirror in here, and a frying pan because there's there's only a big wok that I think a thousand people have used, and I think we're just going to get our own. Not that we're too fussy. It's just. And we'll pay it for it anyway, because we'll just leave them with the van. Yeah, we'll just leave it with the van and, and add to their collection of stuff. I think we're also going to um, drop the grey waste and all that sort of stuff. We're going to sort of do that here while we're at a campsite. 
But anyway, let's get going. Now that that's uploaded, off to find some cups and pans and stuff. There's mountains in the background when you're shopping. Why do I see them up there? You don't even pay attention to them, do you? No. After a while, you forget they're there. We've desensitised. <laughs> so we left for pots and pans, came back with a bottle of wine and a mirror and bread. <laughs> Not so sure if that can, was... we can eat, get drunk and reflect on life. <laughs> <laughs> reflect on our mistakes of not buying a frying pan. Can't find one. Back to Wurzel to say goodbye to this view as we hit the road again. Next up, Haast, I think is how you say it. You're also probably wondering why I'm calling the truck Wurzel. Because in Campify NZ, he advertised it as its name as We Wurzel. So that's why you keep hearing that. We decided to have a little stop off here at the Blue Pools, which we saw advertised on the side of the road. Um, no idea what it is. I imagine they're very pooly and very blue, <laughs> but we're not going to find out until we get there. But there's a lot of car parking here, there's a free campsite here as well, so there must be something worth looking at. So it's a, it's a one hour return walk. We've got a spare hour, I reckon. <laughs> oh, one of these one hours are going to turn into four hours, I swear. Hey. But we're going to be doing it in a beautiful country. Because we have two cameras now, we often go into you can get a better shot war. So here's the two shots from just then. Who did it better? Leave you in the cheat, comments. You, Leave slow -mo. in the comments. You, slow -mo. You I have cheat. you have slow mo. So this water is its colour, they call the blue pools and it's called that because it's the light refracting from this snowy <laughs> snow fed here. It's the it's the light refracting from this snow fed icy water from the glaciers. And that's why it's so clear. It's hard to believe I married this man three days ago. It's not a tripod, it's a guy pod. <sighs> You're an idiot. That was a nice stop over. Onwards to Haast. To Haast. Second stop for today is, what is it, what sort of falls is it? Uh, Fantail, Fantail Falls. Fantail Falls. Um, this one has an obsession with waterfalls, so hopefully it's a good one. Because <laughs> we stopped our trip for this one. It's a two minute walk. <laughs> I think we can manage that. After a arduous two minute hike, we come to this little beauty. <laughs> they are pretty nice falls actually. <laughs> just on camera but it looks pretty good. It does. <laughs> and this is Thunder Creek Falls. <laughs> it's a very nice rainforesty walk on the way in. Yeah, lots of old man's beard. Beautiful. Once again another arduous five minute walk through beautiful countryside and rainforest. And we 
see these beautiful falls. They are amazing and they are very tall. I don't know how tall because I didn't read the board at the beginning. <laughs> I'll let you know in a second. We're so professional. Back to Wee Wurzel for some lunch, I think. My knee is playing up. So I think it might be lunch and uh, too hust. Actually, too hust. Yeah. And not stopping. There may be another waterfall. <laughs> yeah, may maybe. 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 <laughs> Moments like this I really enjoy. Just having lunch, a snack, a cup of tea, with a view. Well, we managed to hust. There was nothing there. So we kept driving. And there's nothing here. And there's nothing here <laughs> either. So there's always sunset. Oh, on a cliff. Um, We're at Knight's Point. Yeah, so we will continue on and let you know where we end up tonight. We finally made it to where? Fox Glacier, which we didn't plan on getting to, which which also means we don't have to drive that much tomorrow. No, just a short distance down the road. Yeah, so we are sick of being in the van at the moment, so we are going to go out and get some food. And some social messages. And to get out of the van. Did I mention we're going to have to get out of the van? Long drives kill me, eh? So we're going to leave you there for this week. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our little treks and our glacier walks and everything like that. I'm sure there'll be more glaciers next week, I can guarantee. Yes. So if you haven't subscribed, we'd love you to. Please do. And leave a lovely comment. Leave a comment. We love no, comments. leave a lovely one. <laughs> no one actually gives us bad comments. Please don't start. Thank you. <laughs> See you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.